So let's finish up with our tutorial series. Uh, so we created our folder. Uh, we have a folder structure. We have a poster, VTF and VMT files. And the next thing we want to do is we want to put our compiled maps in here. And we're going to create a VPK file. We also need to create a, text, a couple of text files. So first thing is you want to navigate to your compiled map. So you have to compile your map and it'll be inside maps directory. So scroll down and find your specific compiled map. So I have mine L4D SV Hotel Swiss and you want to grab both files. You want to grab the BSP file and you want to grab the nav file. And you want to copy and you want to paste this inside maps. So once you have this set, next thing we want to do is we need to create our two text files. We want to create an add-on info.txt and inside missions we want to have a text file with any name in here. Uh, you want to avoid naming it missions. So just name this text file as your uh, map name. And the way you find what to put in here inside the text file is go to developer.valvesoftware.com wiki page and search for add-on info text. I will also provide all this text on my website which you'll find the link on the detailed information about this video. So once you search for that uh, you kinda have to scroll down and here on the bottom you'll find deadline add-on info file. By clicking on that all of this in here is you have to copy and paste. Copy and what you would do is you would you would create new text. You would name it add-on info and you would paste everything in there. So I already created it. So let us take a look at our add-on info. So in here you would go through and you would change that you see on here that's highlighted in red. So you would add on title, you would go to the add the tagline, uh, author name, etc. Uh, you want to also pay attention to the add on URL which is the URL of your downloaded map. Uh, this is the location where people will be able to download your map from. So I went through and I changed all of my uh, settings according to my map and go ahead and save and another file that we want to add is missions text and here I already have mine created and it's just a simple text file and you would create this the same way you would right click new text and then you would name with your map name and this name could be anything you want so by opening this up um, we need to change a few settings and the way you get all of this stuff is again if you go to Valve Developer Community. Let's go back. This is the same page with that we did our Life of That campaign add-on tutorial and if you scroll down on here you'll find deadline mission file. Clicking on this you want to copy and paste all of this stuff into your text file and you would go through and one by one you would read. There's a few key things that you do want to change and, and it's very important so for your poster to work. Let me open this file and in here a few things are is your outro image you want to make sure that you provide the proper name your display title the website where you download the installation map from your poster image has to be named exactly the same as your poster image that you have inside the VGU folder so you want to make sure that you go one by one and you read everything so it's a very short text file it's not that big but you want to make sure that you read everything and change according to your map also for modes when you go through here you'll have co-op versus survival what you want to do is if you don't have a co-op you want to change it to zero if you don't have versus you want to change that to zero if you do have a versus map you want to change that to one and you want to name everything uh, with a specific file name for your versus map. Uh, so in my case I only have survival map. 
So I change my co-op to zeros. I change my versus to zero. And I set my survival to one. So if I had co-op, and if I had uh, three or four different maps, I would name my co-op as one, this would be two, and so on. So if I would have five different maps that I would switch to during campaign, I would switch it all the way one, two, one through five. But in my case, I don't, so everything is set to zero. And uh, again, I don't have a versus map, so this is set to zero. If I did, this would be set to one. You want to make sure that everything, all the values are properly placed. So for my map, this is my map name display name this is the name that gets displayed for my map and image and it's maps l4d hotel source which is a little thumbnail that we created which is this little file right here so once you have everything filled out you want to save it so now we have the missions text and we have add-on info text so next we want to create our VPK file and the way you do that is you have to go inside the, your left for that folder and you have to go into your bin folder and you need to find VPK application so what I what are you what you need to do is right click and send to desktop so you create a shortcut on your desktop so now we can close this so now I have my VPK shortcut So now I have it, so all you need to do is double check. Make sure you double check and click, and you check everything. You, you make sure that you have your maps file inside, you have your materials, you have your VGUI, you have your loading screens, you have your outro screens, you have your thumbs. Make sure that everything is set properly, that every name inside every single one of these VMT files is set properly. And uh, if if for some reason your loading screens or your ultra screens don't show up usually it's because one of these values is set wrong maybe it's misspelled so I mean you really have to be very meticulous and double check so may go through again and double check that everything is in there now we take this folder and all we do to create a VPK file is you just drag over your VPK shortcut that you created and that's it now we have a VPK which is a single file and that's how you create a simple VPK file so at this point you either uh, you just take this and you double click or you copy and paste inside your add-on folder so I'm just gonna double click it tells me that Hotel Swiss has been installed go into my add-on folder and here it is Hotel Swiss so now 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 here comes the final part is we need to run our Left 4 Dead and see if everything is working. So now we're inside the game, so let's check. You go under Extras, Add-ons, and here we can see that our map has been added. If you had a campaign, what you would do is you would go to Campaigns, Single Player, and you would add on campaigns, but since I don't have any campaigns that are custom, and since we just turned that value to zero, I don't have anything but if you had a campaign and you set that to one two three and so on uh, it would show up right here so let me go back so if I was gonna start to, uh, a survival map and let me play online and let me create a lobby so if I was gonna start a lobby and with my map in it I would, I would go to campaign add-on campaign and I would choose my map and we can see that our thumbnail showed up and our site shows up where to download the map from so I would select this and we would be able to jump in the game so other than that let me test my poster uh, so I'm gonna start my map by typing in map in the console space l4d underscore sv and hotel swiss and our map starts up our poster shows and we are all set so thank you for watching and that is how you create a custom movie poster and a custom VPK file.